In this video, I will show you how to define an implicit fitting function, how to perform implicit fitting with three independent variables, as well as how to plot the fitted surface as a 3D parametric function plot. We're going to fit the ellipsoid data with a user-defined implicit fitting function. So we begin by defining this function. To open the fitting function builder, I select Tools, Fitting Function Builder, choose Create a New Function, Next, it's implicit, so we make sure that's the selected category. We can then name the function ellipsoid. Set the model to be implicit. and then hit Next. We now set our variables and parameters. Variables x, y, z. Click Next. The function needs to be of the form f equals. We're going to enter the function expression. Change the initial values of each fitting parameter. Double click to enter a value. We can evaluate the function to make sure that it is giving us a value and it was defined correctly. Then we hit next. Next again. Here we can set lower bounds of the fitting parameters A, B, and C. We're going to set that lower bound to be zero. You just need to double click to set the operator and enter in the value of zero. Hit next, or we can actually just finish. Our functions defined. So now we need to do our fitting using the function we just created. To fit, I select Analysis, Fitting, Nonlinear implicit curve fit and open up the dialog. We need to choose the function. We select ellipsoid user as our user created function. Data selection has our correct input since we highlighted those columns before opening up the dialog. According to the error message, we need to change the data type in the fitted curve page. So if we click on fitted curves, we then need to specify the data type as fitted point for input data.
which will automatically set the data type of Y and Z as well. We carry out the fit by clicking the fit button. We're going to switch to the report sheet that was generated. We can find the result of the fitted parameters. The adjusted R-square value is 0 0.99823, indicating the fit is good. We can look at the last sheet in the book, which stores the XYZ coordinates for the fitted curve. We're now going to plot the fitted surface as a 3D parametric function plot. We need to open the Create 3D Parametric Function Plot dialog. So we select File, New, Function Plot, 3D Parametric Function Plot. I'm going to copy the parametric function equation from the notes window. We need to run a LabTalk script in advance to get the fitting results to then pass these variables in the parameter equation, param parametric equation. So I'm just going to copy and paste these equations here into the dialog. We're going to use the script as before formula script, so I copy this entire block of script. Show the lab talk script and paste it in. We're going to add to the existing graph. So we're going to add it to the current graph window. We started with graph 1 active. We can update the range here, the scale, so we're going to change the scale of u to go from 0 to pi. Click OK. And now we have the surface drawn through the points. Surface transparency will be introduced in the following steps. You just have to make sure you're, that your OpenGL version supports it. So I'm going to double click on the plot to set the transparency. If I go to the Surface tab, you can turn on transparency. Let's increase that value. Click Apply. You can now see additional points. We're going to change the surface color. We can also introduce lighting. change the different lighting colors, apply those settings. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.